guard supply of resources buried deep within the canyon walls. Heavy explosives will be required to excavate them. Yeah, they're giving me this to start. This can't be good. I got power cells. That's gonna be used to blow up something? It's really bright around here. Like, I'm having a hard time seeing because of it. Alright, what's over here? There's a data pad and the mech, and that seems to be it. What is that? All right, let's read the data pad first before we get ourselves into something that's going to kill me. I paid Herod good money for this useless heap of signal error. Error detected. Serious caches of resources here on this planet, but memory leak detected. All right, I said, sure, the thing leaks fuel like a volus after a mug of ring call, but I can deal with that. So I took off and laid out a trail of power cells leading from where I unloaded the mech to bad package, please restart. So I could at least get the thing moving, and now illegal fault detected. Won't even move! Damn that swindling Elcor! He didn't give you his emotions properly, did he? Alright, let's activate the mech. Piece of ch signal error. Restore the memory! Alright, we have to bypass in order to get that done. Really? Like, there's all five right there. Just double checking. They still give me way more time than I'm ever going to need. All right. Excavate the resources. Feed fuel pods to the mech so it can find and excavate. What? Sorry. Uh, find and excavate the resources inside the canyon walls. Fair enough. Thought they were going to tell me more thing. All right. Insert the power cell there. And off he goes again. Well, nicely done, I guess. He's got a lot of power remaining on that. Still feel like he's going to turn on me at... No. Come on. I just got here. Damn it. I gotta do all this again? All right, hold on. All right, and we're back. Um, this time I'm going to stay in the middle of the path. Cause uh, going up the side means really going up the side. So let's follow this guy around some more. I, I can't be the only one that finds these glitches, can I? I think this is the third or fourth time I've had to restart or reload an old save because of it. It's honestly not cool. I don't mind the silly ones. The ones where I look funny or I don't look at all, but... The ones where I have to restart the mission are, are pretty bad. We haven't had anything completely game-breaking yet, but... Quest breaking for sure, and reload old saves. Yeah, that's a problem, but... I, nothing that, you know, breaks the rest of the game off from me where, like, I complete a mission and they're like, we didn't know you could complete that system error. <laughs> nothing like that yet. But still, this is like one step down from that. That's not cool. Either way, seems pretty self-explanatory what I need to do here. Yeah, that was only a matter of time before that happened. I need to find another Incoming. power cell. Varen! Damn it! What? How did that miss? Where did you guys go? What? How how did I miss? Where where are you guys? What are you doing? All right, down he goes. So there were Varen down here. I assume they're guarding the power cell. I think I saw another one on the other side, but for now we're fine picking up the power cells over here. Like I haven't found anything yet. All right, no golds no, or credits, I should say. Space gold, also known as credits. I haven't found any of that yet. 
Where'd Jack go? How'd you get down there, Jack? No. No. Who gave you a shirt? Alright, so off he goes this way. I'm gonna try extra hard not to get in his way. Like I said, I thought I saw another one over here that I'm probably gonna have to pick up. I don't know how good he's gonna be at fighting. Chances are he's going to stop before it ever becomes an issue, though. God, he makes it like halfway here? I mean, that guy was not joking about this guy being just absolutely nothing but a drain on energy. It's just leaking everywhere. There you go. You're gonna have to blow something up. That doesn't eat away at his power? Oh, it does. Yeah, it's just all at once at the end. Um, it didn't work. Like, does machine gun fire really do the trick? Like, what the hell? Oh, he's, he's busted. That hurt. His last thing in life was to hurt me slightly. How dare you? You are not my friend. Hooray, I found resources. Just vaguely named resources. 5,000 platinum. Didn't know platinum was green like that. All right, recovered buried cache of resources and mere tech mech unsalvageable. Yeah, no shit, it exploded. Got 125 experience. I uh, got 7,500 credits. I, I don't think I missed anything. I don't, just don't think that it was there, but I, I got it. Hooray. So that's now done. Weird. There are weird side missions in this game. That's probably the best way that I could put it. They're, they're just weird. I'm not complaining too much, but... They're not as good as I always hoped them to be. Anything? How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything R else, Commander? That'll be all. Really? I'll be here if you need... Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Yeah, you just told me. What did I get here? Uh, Pragya facility update from Cerberus Intel. Commander Shepard. Contacting you per elusive man's instructions, he believed you would want to know that he had ordered Subject Zero's project shut down before the riot broke out. Cerberus personnel arrived to find all guards dead, along with most of the subjects. Any surviving children were treated for injuries, given mild amnesic treatments, and delivered to Alliance facilities as survivors of slaver attacks. A, survi a few surviving doctors were forcibly retired for their role in the project. Per your report, the facility on... Project has been destroyed. Like, I did that. Like, with a really big bomb. Much larger than... Than it really should have been. Yeah, we're just gonna move on. I thought about going back and talking to Jack about that, but... Probably not yet. We'll try... Eh, a little bit later. Alright, I'm gonna continue searching around all over the place and see if I can't find anything interesting. And I found another anomaly in Solvig, or Solveig, Solvig, here on Sinmara. Anomaly detected. There's an anomaly here. Surtur's moon Sinmara has been used for many generations to monitor its parent star Solvig. It has no atmosphere to interfere with solar observational equipment, which is critical at this juncture. The star recently showed signs of erupting prematurely into a red giant. In preparation for the day when the critical warning goes out, the extranet channel from Sinmara's research station is given top priority throughout the comm buoys in the system. The chances of such a signal being received over the sun's magnetic interference at that time is low, but relegating it to a lower channel proved politically untenable. Founded in 2044, population of 135, the largest habitat is Trundholm. Let's go! Magnetic shielding failure detected. Catastrophic solar radiation exposure probable. Magnetic shielding failure detected. Catastrophic solar radiation 
radiation exposure probable. Magnetic shielding failure. Detected. Let's go for it. Catastrophic scans have found something. Anomaly detected. Planetary scans indicate that the Sinmara colony is vulnerable to its sun's hazardous solar flares. Malfunction detected in colony's magnetic shield. Shield must be reactivated to avoid exposing colony to unstable solar activity and potential annihilation. Let's land there and see if we can't help out. I do want to bring Tally along again. I feel like we did not get that much of an opportunity to see her. And uh, Jack, maybe later. I feel like we could pair Jack with somebody a little, well, or Tolly. Or I could go by myself. Solo it is. Activate magnetic shield. Activate the magnetic shield, protecting the research station from the unstable sun. Uh, solar radiation, maybe? We got the gist of it already. Doesn't look like there's anything here. So, let's move on. Explosive crates everywhere. Let's just go ahead and deal with those immediately. I should just throw. Got less of a cooldown. Hey, there's a broken generator. Let's salvage it for parts. 2,000 palladium. Them's nice parts. I'm not sure I want to hang out down there. Just in case. I am by myself, after all. Let's bypass this, I guess. I, I do like double checking because I think once I mess up once I'm locked out forever, but like these go so quick for me. No problem. There's a control switch, shield generator and shield control. And a cooling unit. I feel like none of these are actually going to give me anything, but I'm going to go for the outside anyway. Okay, that did nothing. Oh, and I can walk across these? Usually they say no. Shield cannot be activated because the generator is offline. Let's make sure it's cool first. All right, let's just do the middle and then they'll tell me what to do. Okay, they pointed at this. Now they're pointing at this. All right, everything is cool now. Let's go over here to the generator. So it's cool. Power is going. And now we can turn it on. All right, maybe that was the right order. Once again, way more time than I'm ever gonna need, so I'm taking my time with it. Yep, just make sure on that last one. Let's not screw this up because it's, I think it's the last one, but it's really not. Genius. Restored magnetic shield, keeping Sinmara Colony safe from catastrophic solar activity. Credit reward transferred from Sinmara Colonists. I got 125 experience, 3,750 credits, which Cerberus matched for a total of 7,500, 2,000 palladium as well. Okay. Feels a little weird, but I'll, I'll take it, I guess. I feel like we should go around Cerberus, or Cerberus, we should go around the Normandy again and uh, try to see what else we can do. If anybody has anything to say. Kelly? How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Good luck out there, Shepard. I don't know if I trust you. I should trust her more. All right, so... 
let's go talk to Joker, since we have not talked to him since uh, Tally has been with us, which was the first time she was with us. So he should have something to say about that. He'll also talk about Jack. Commander. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last. Well, I always liked Tally, so let's just move on. I'm not saying anything about Jack. I'm not stupid. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. Are you still on the fractured thumb thing? I assume everything's going well up here. Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Yeah, we're, we're probably not going to talk to Joker again. I think we have talked about everybody. There is one more crew member that I need to get. I looked it up to see just to make sure I was not uh, missing anything. Uh, no, I am not missing anything as best as I can tell. But I was told there was uh, some weird things about that. Yeah, nothing new there, Morton. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Later, better. Think I've cured Joker's condition. Simple treatment would... No, 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 no. Would cause liver failure. Never mind. Start from scratch. Anything else? Is it I'll alcohol? Let you work. We'll be here if you need me. If it was alcohol, he'd be all for that. All right, we're done on this floor. He did have something relatively new to say. Just uh, wasn't entirely what I was looking for. Sure, Captain's Cabin will go feed the fish real quick. Even though Kelly's supposed to be doing that. You never know. And we'll check on the hamster. I don't think I need to feed the hamster or anything. Seems to be living all by itself. Let's go to the crew quarters. We'll try talking to people down here again. Even though they rarely have anything to say. Nothing. And then Samara's over here. Yep. So we're ignoring her for the time being because I've been putting off her thing for a while. We'll be back to all the locations later. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk? Later. I'd like to consider what we've already discussed. I should go. I shall return to my meditations. Yeah, I figured we were probably done with him. In port, that's where Kasumi is. Hey, got a minute? Sure. Gabby and Ken would make a great couple. I just doubt they'll ever realize it. The Normandy runs so quietly. I'm not used to hearing my footsteps when I walk. Haven't we heard both of those before? One of the girls in navigation thinks she might be pregnant. Even aboard a Cerberus vessel, life finds a way. Life, uh, finds a way. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. She didn't do the reference right. It's an old reference, but it's still a good one. So, Dr. Chakwas, I, I mean, I guess we'll check with Miranda and Garris. It feels like there's nothing coming from them. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Do you have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. All right, I'll we're going. Of course, Commander. I went too quick. She had to repeat herself. Maybe that's the secret. I just have to bug her 27 times in a row, and then maybe she'll say something. Garrus, let's make this quick. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of Talk something. to you later, I'll Garris. be here if you need me. All right, I tried to make it quick, but Garrus is hesitant no matter what. Maybe if I had sex with him, he'd opened up a <laughs> bit. But... Like I said, I'm, I'm sticking with Liara and Kelly as a backup, but I think she's okay with me being a, or her being a backup, me, me using her that way. All right, port is Grunt. I think we're done with Grunt. Shepard. Just checking in. Battlemaster, I have everything. That's yep. all for now. Shepard. Yeah, I think we're done with him. Jack's the one that I think might have something new to say. Tally is in the middle of... Uh, telling me about her loyalty mission, so she doesn't have anything to say until I solve that. Jack? Hey. What's happening? You got a lot of questions, don't you? Hey, she does have something. I'm interested. I miss your friendly nature when you're not around. Been thinking. We've seen a lot of shit together now, and you're always coming to talk to me. It's just, I'm not really a girls club kind of person. I like you, all right? That's a good place to stop. Did she just tell me she wasn't a lesbian? Was that the point of that? Hey. What's happening? Shepard, we talked enough. You're just pissing around. No hard feelings, but I don't want to play. Oh. Do you want to join the girls club? I should go. 
whatever. I think that's the end of Shepard or Shepard and Jack's conversations there. That's that's it. That's all we got. Not a lot of people have a ton of things to say, but then again, I keep on doing that. Uh, I have done a lot of things and tried to talk to him in the so middle of a lot. So, what do you think of our new quarry and boss? Hush, she's right over there. Ah, she can't hear us with her head in that bucket. Seriously? Don't get me wrong, it's a beautiful bucket. The whole suit is lovely, quite snug in all the right places. Yeah. You know I can hear you. Ha. <laughs> It is snug in all the right places, though. <laughs> I've been wondering about that. Like, so you guys developed a spacesuit, right? Why is it that close on you in key areas? Is that on purpose? 